Welcome to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And today we are doing a suggested video by Vojo Productions. They said, I would greatly appreciate a facts video on Mr. Elkin Patiaro. All right. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. All right, Marty, let's start with uh, with Homeland. Where do you think he's from? I'm gonna from? guess like South America with that last name. You're gonna guess South America? Yeah. So in there somewhere? Uh, toss Mexico in there too. Do you want Central America in there? No, Mexico. Everything under Texas. Oh yeah, all that. Yep. All that? Yep. Okay. Well, he is from <clears throat> Ataco, Tolima, Colombia, which is okay. roughly here-ish. Nice. Nice. Okay, so have you ever heard of this guy before? Nope. Okay. All right, so it's this guy. I was right assuming there. it was him. Yep. Yeah. So it's that guy right there. I don't. I don't know who this is. Mystery lady. Mm, yeah, so his name is Manuel Elkin Patiaro. Uh, he's a Colombian professor of pathology and immunology. Okay. So he's got the PhDs. Mm. Uh, he's known for the SPF66 malaria vaccine. All right. Yeah. He was born November 3rd, 1946. So he'd be 74 right now. He studied at the National University of Columbia Medical Facility, or faculty. Uh, he has a postgraduate study from Yale in the US. Right on. And a PhD at Rockefeller University, also in the US. Okay. So he's got some brains. Yeah, he's done a few things, yeah. Got some brain stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what brain stuff looks like. That is. So these are symptoms of malaria in case people didn't know what they were. All right. Uh, so his historical contributions, Elkin created the first synthetic vaccine in the world for the prevention of malaria in 1986, called, again, SPF66. These two are capital. This is a lowercase. Just so people don't think I'm being crazy and not using the same cases, oh. that's how it's printed. I will never understand how doctors name things, mm. but okay. Uh, he transferred the patent for it to the World Health Organization, also known as WHO. Uh, the vaccine created by Elkin combats a specific strain of malaria, which causes three to five million deaths per year. Oh boy. He claims the effective, the efficiency rating is 40 to 50% for adults and 77 for children under five, but clinical trials showed it to be ineffective. It only worked in 28% of the cases in South America, minimal or no efficiency in Africa or Asia. Hmm. Who has since, so World Health Organization, mm -hmm has since shelved the vaccine as inactive or discontinued along with 31 other vaccines. Oh yeah, why? Did not say. Death, still alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, the, what, you always have death on there and I'm always like. Okay, someday somebody might pick away. a dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Controversy. This is a juicy one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Vojo picked a, picked a not very ethical man. All right. Well. So in the late 1980s, Elkin was paying for wild monkeys, the owl monkey, also known as the night monkey, to do his laboratory, laboratory testing on. Mm -hmm. An investigation followed and showed that 627 night monkeys were not registered with export officials and had no permits to be in Colombia. Oh. They are not native to Colombia. Okay. In 2008, the alleged illegal trade with this animal species was under investigation. Then in 2012, the permits of 4,000 monkeys were revoked from Elkin's laboratory. In 2000, That's a lot of monkeys. That is a lot of monkeys. In 2015, the decision uh, was reversed and the experiments with the primates was allowed to continue. Okay. In 2016, Elkin was awarded an honorary doctorate from the Ricardo Palma University, and the official ceremony was a controversy again by the defenders of the biodiversity of Peruvian wildlife. Elkin was using green-tailed monkeys as a specimen, which then he returned to the wild without spleens, which deprived them of their immune system, and was incriminated in the mentioned act. Ecologists continued to support their accusations in Peru, for which investigators had no response. So someone's paying him under the table. I don't know. It's thought that he has used over 11,000 monkeys in total in his experiments. Later in 2016, a Colombian journalist investigation revealed the traffic and environmental impact of Elkin's investigation. Okay. Illegal trading. Right. Or illegal importing of 
non-native species, and then releasing them into the wild (laughs) after removing an organ to just let them wreck (laughs) ecological havoc. And they can't fight off any diseases that are native to them in the wild. So they're, yeah, they're just uh, set them up for failure. I mean, that's insane. Insane. Malaria, if you don't know, is transmitted by mosquitoes. Uh, Mm, We know those are around here. Yes. So, Legacy, he's got uh, some awards. 1979, 1981, 1984, 1986. He was awarded the Alejandro Angel Escobar National Award for Science. 1990, the Academy of Sciences of the Third World, Venezuela. 1994, Doctor of the Year, France. 1995, WHO Leon Bernard Prize. It's a World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. 1998, the World Academy of Sciences Prize. 2002, Health Personality of the Year, Spain. (laughs) Okay, Personality of the Year, huh? Personality of the Year. All right. Fun facts. Elkin does not publicly comment on his allegations other than to insinuate his innocence by stating he's already been acquitted of two of the five crimes levied against him as of April 2011. Okay. I have I not like I have not found anything I feel like in all of my searches mm-hmm. that say whether he has been acquitted, found guilty, or if trials are still pending on any of his charges. So it's just on any of in them. limbo somewhere? Yeah. Somewhere? Somewhere. Um, I do have links to interviews with people that worked with him that mm-hmm. provided evidence against him and mm-hmm. what kind of evidence. So if you're interested in reading more about that, there's some of the links. There are plans to test a new malaria vaccine in 2021, moving from laboratory mice specimens to human testing. It's called the SARNA, or self-amplifying RNA. I don't know what that means, but it's very interesting. I mean, unless uh, it has to do with actually like ribonucleic acid, but... Self-adjusting ribonucleic acid? That just sounds scary. Like, that's like... Self, self-amplifying. self ampl- Self-amplifying. So, from what I understand about what I was reading about it, which there's also a link yeah. in here, they're trying to target malaria in the bloodstream before it has a chance to multiply. So, it's doing something with the blood versus the virus. From so, what I understand, <sighs> I'm not a doctor. Oh, God. <laughs> All this, all this reminds me of vaccine, all that stuff. All it does is just remind me of I Am Legend when they started injecting people with stuff that hadn't been tested, and then we have zombies. I don't want to live in a world with that many zombies. Probably be a bad time. Probably be a real bad time. Real bad time. There is also a thing called the Cochrane Library, mm-hmm. which houses all the information and testing and research and finding mm-hmm. on injections, vaccines, things of that sort. Uh, I do have the link to the Cochrane Library website uh, that is specifically dealing with the malaria virus. So if you're interested in learning more about that, it does include Elkin's studies. It was labeled, basically, this is ineffective, no more testing is necessary. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they, once they come up with something that's better, just kind of... Well, I mean, if it's only working 28% of the time in very specific cases, yeah. only in South America. You don't want it... Because it's it... a big problem in South... In any <clears throat> tropical area, mm-hmm. malaria is a very big problem. Yeah. High mortality rates. If it's only working 28% of the time in one-third of the location... <laughs> well, especially... That's well, not very and conducive. almost seemed a little odd though he's from south america and it's yes. only working in south america i'm assuming he was making money from selling the, this vaccine so it he wasn't selling it he as soon as he as soon as he proved that it was very effective because remember he said effective 40 to 50 percent in adults and 77 percent in children okay Oh, that's right. He transferred the the patent. He gave the patent to World okay. Health Organization. Okay. Well, it just it still seems a little odd that it only has actual success in the country that he's from, like the ones that were going elsewhere. I think it might were, have uh, to do with the fact that he was using specimens of monkeys only found in South America because they matched. I think it was. I think well, I mean, it I guess said around ninety percent the same blood. Yeah. Okay. But that is my guess that it was only working in South America because he was only using something from South America to test on. Not something that's, so, not something be, that's found environmental. in yeah, all I of guess the environments. So. <clears throat> that is my assumption. Again, not a scientist. Yeah. Yeah, not 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 a super cool dude. No, he is not animals. a super cool dude. Thank you, Vojo Productions. Uh, this was a very scandalous man. <laughs> 
Yeah, all of a sudden, I thought it was going to be going say, all great, and then all of a sudden, pfft, took a turn there. I will say, I had to go to a lot of sites to get information because his Wikipedia page is very, very small. So I ended up using a lot of the referred links in Wikipedia to mm. go fact checking what was even on there. And then uh, looking up his biography, which mm. was about this big. <laughs> Someone other doesn't want people learning about him. That's what it seems like. Yeah. There is not a lot of information that isn't repeated on this If we map. show up dead, we're not suicidal. It was the Colombians. Yep. Bye! Bye! <laughs>